Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to open a PDF from an assignment from your teacher and insert it into a program called DocuHub and then resubmit it to your teacher, therefore eliminating the need to print, take a photo, and then upload items. So if I'm a student or a parent in Room 1 Kindergarten and I need to work on Reader's Writer's Workshop, I would double click on it to open it. I, this screen, I need to come take a look in the top right hand corner, click on the three dots, open this in a new window. Right here in the center of the screen, it says open with, click on the DocuHub extension that is approved by SFUSD for student use. The first thing, as with every document or any piece of paper that your teacher assigns to you, you will type your name, therefore ensuring that you, the teacher knows when you submit it, it is your paper. I'm connecting right now. One moment. Here we go. Readers and Writers Workshop. First thing I would do, I would come over here to the top left-hand corner, and I would insert my name so that Miss Clarissa, in this instance, knows that Christy will, will have completed Readers and Writers Workshop. And if you've noticed, I can read the document. I can use the scroll bar just like always. Now, I have a series of comprehension questions based on the previous page. I can, A, come up to the toolbar and use the text tool. I can type my answer here. I can also click on the highlight tool, Earth is a, and then I would highlight it. I can change the color of my highlight, and then I can move on to the next one. I would choose the highlight pen again. Our solar system has eight planets, and I would do it again. Perhaps this time I want a different color. So as I move down, turn that off, I scroll down, and Miss Clarissa asks us to type in the answer to what gives us air to breathe. I go back to my text tool, I click here on the line, and I, what gives us air to breathe? The earth, oops, let's, the earth provides oxygen, which allows us to breathe. I'm not sure this is an appropriate answer for kindergarten, but for demonstration purposes, it works. Come back on the A tool if you like. Ooh, I spelled that wrong, so let's fix that. I can change the size of it. Uh, it's a little too large. I can change the font, and I can also change the color, none of which I need to do now. I can scroll down. I can read the following assignment. I, again, can choose my highlight tool, highlight the answer, and I can continue working on this document, I believe it's one assignment every day. And when I'm finished, if I come over here and look at Christy, Reader's Writer's Workshop, I notice that it always says saved. As with every other program with Google in Google, saving is done automatically. So if I click on the A, uh, let's do highlight. If I click on the highlight tool and I highlight the T, over here you will briefly see the word saving. So it saves automatically. I do not have to worry about that. I am going to undo that last highlight. For all intents and purposes right now, I am finished with the assignment. So I would come back over here. I can share it with my teacher, or I can click on download, and I can put it right back into the classroom for my teacher. Create a share link, and I'm uploading this document to Google Classroom and I'm sharing it. Oh, but as since I miss Christy, I have all kinds of teachers in here. I would ooh, I I your your specific class would appear here. So I would click on it. Ooh, I would click on it and then I would click on oh, I can't do it cuz I'm not a student. But you would click on room 1 and then you would click on go and it would save the document for you. If you have questions, if you have questions, please do not hesitate to email me. My email is E-S-T-E-S-K -E at sfusd.edu. Take care.